Right now, a jury is deliberating the fate of Eric Hernandez Mendez and whether or not he is guilty of killing his wife only five days after their marriage in 2021. I'm Bill Young. And I'm Liz Ortiz. The victim, Christina Matos, was a student at NC State. CBS 17's Dina Harley has been following the trial from the start and joins us live now. Dina, any updates for today? Hey, Bill and Liz. Yeah, the jury is still in there, still deliberating. They have been deliberating since about 9 at 30 this morning. I can tell you that within the last 45 minutes or so, the jury came back into the courtroom with a list of questions. They were asking to see more evidence, including photos of the victim's room. They wanted to see some plastic fragments that were also found in the suspect's car. So right now, the judge is allowing them to go over all of that in the courtroom. Jury has a big decision ahead of them. They have heard two wildly different stories about what happened back in 2021. After days of evidence and testimony, Eric Hernandez Mendez's defense team arguing he only cleaned up the murder after Matos was stabbed to death by their roommate, Kaylee Lynch Ferricano. You didn't get to hear about either of those two interviews with Kaylee, right? You didn't. You got to hear about the interview with him. You got to see the interview with him, but nothing about Kaylee. The state says there's ample evidence proving Hernandez Mendez is guilty, including blood droplets leading from the victim's room to his and evidence of Internet searches by the defendant about what would happen to his immigration status if his wife died. Hernandez Mendez already admitted to jury members the wedding was what he called a sham and an attempt for him to gain U.S. citizenship. Prosecutors say Hernandez Mendez is using Lynch Fiercano as a scapegoat. There is one other person in the world, one other person in the world who possibly could have murdered Christina Matos and because she's charged and she's not here to testify, the defendant, a skilled liar who can mingle the truth with the lie, can now freely point at her. Now, again, that jury still deliberating this morning. If he is convicted, Hernandez Mendez does not face the death penalty. Instead, he faces life in prison. Live in Raleigh, Dina Harley, CBS 17 News. All right, Dina, thank you for the update.